hey guys welcome back to my channel i am back with another video already and this is new for me because two videos in one month i'm getting there consistency is on its way so today i'm going to be installing this wig from loving my hair it's a straight wig so i think this is a body wave unit so but it straightens out like but uh, like crazy but i think it is body wave this is a 22 or 20 inch unit it just comes underneath my chest area but i'll have all the links and specs in the description box just so you can be definitely sure what i've got installed i did dye this unit jet black and i'm so 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 happy that i did it did come a natural brown but for me like i think the jet black is just a bit of me so I had to dye it jet black, I just had to do it. And I can't stop smiling because I'm actually in love with this install. The lace, it already came pre-bleached. It did come pre-plucked slightly, but I just went in and plucked it more just because that's just me. But it did come pre-bleached, so I didn't have to bleach the nuts anymore, but I did pluck it more. And the lace was just amazing to work with. You can wear this unit glueless. The only reason I didn't wear it glueless is just because how the lace was positioning on my head and the cap construction was a little bit off. So I did have to glue it down just so it was a bit more secure but you can wear this with glueless because the lace is so thin like you didn't, I didn't even have to tint it but this wig is just I will. I wasn't sure whether to curl it or keep it straight, but the girls are saying keep it straight. So, so I hope you guys enjoy this video. If you want to see how I installed it, done the baby hairs, everything, stay tuned. So here is just me showing you the wig on my head. Look at this lace guys, like the lace was so thin, I hadn't even tinted this lace and look how it was just melting into my skin. It was just giving like, everyone was already giving before the install had gave. <laughs> um, so here I'm just showing you the hair, I dyed this hair jet black because I feel like I'm just tired of this natural 1B, like my hair is not even 1B, it's really black. So I think I'm just going to keep dyeing my wigs black from now on because it's a look, it just... It just makes everything better. So I'm trying out this new lace glue called Diamante Lace Glue. I did a poll on my Instagram asking the girls, you know, what glues do they use that don't bring them out in a horrible reaction because I'm allergic to bold hold and all of those other glues. And literally so many people recommended this glue. So we're gonna see how it holds up. I did a patch test as you always should and my patch test came out fine. So we're going to see how the rest of my head <laughs> reacts to this glue. Well, fingers crossed. It's all good. It's all good. I'm planning on keeping this wig on for a long time. Because the hold on this glue, damn, the hold is crazy. I did about three, four layers. The hold is crazy. Every time I install my units, I always, always work in sections because I don't want to make a mess and I just want to make sure everything is secured down properly. So always work in sections, guys. If you're not a beginner and you know what's good, then you ain't got to work in sections. But guys, look at the, <laughs> look at the plucking that. I actually, I, I did some stuff on this plucking, literally. I did some stuff on this plucking. The only thing that I feel like I need to work on, though, is my cap method because sometimes when I do my own caps, ugh, they always want to slide back and then you can always see it through the lace. So if you've got, if you're doing a cap method, just make sure your cap is <laughs> secured and not like mine. Thank you. 
so now I've got both sides secure I'm just combing it through making sure that everything is pressed down and I was so unsure if I wanted to do a side part or middle I, initially I was going in with a middle part but then I just thought hmm jet black and at the side that would look very 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 tasty <laughs> so I think I stuck to the side part yeah I stuck to a side part for this unit so what I'm going to do now that everything's glued down, I'm just going to cut around the ears. I know some girls cut their lace before they install, but I just prefer to cut after. And when I cut after, it just, it just sits perfect. <laughs> I was really feeling myself. I did get a little bit of the glue stuck in the hair, so I'm just brushing that out before I put my elastic band down. Okay, so once the band is on, we can get into pressing this frontal out. What I did like about this wig was that it had a full frontal, like it wasn't short parting spaces on the side and that just made the quality of this wig just even more amazing because I can part it on the sides without any problems, like it was literally a full frontal. This is probably the best wig I've had in a while. <laughs> I'll be honest. It's probably one of the best wigs I've had in a while. For construction and for the hair quality, therefore one of the best wigs I've had in a while. I just go in as normal with my Kira Care wax stick and I put some spritz on top and I just go in and hot comb my hair in sections just to make sure that it's laying down flat. Unless it burn off and it's a melt, it's a melt. You know it's gonna be good when you take the elastic band off and it looks like the lace is already cut. That's when you know it's gonna be good. So I'm just going in with my eyebrow razor and I'm just cutting off the excess lace. I'm just going to use this time now just to make sure everything is mounted properly if any lace is lifting just go back in and you know add some glue to the edges just check that the mount is as it needs to be
So to straighten up my hair, I just added some bio silk and it's just gonna speak for itself guys like you're gonna see when i straighten this out i definitely recommend using a serum when it comes to straightening or styling your hair you'll notice a big difference like with how the hair looks when it's straightened or styled it it adds to the finishing look most definitely so i'd recommend getting you guys a serum i use bio silk but there are a lot of other options out there Hey guys, so I just straightened out my hair and took the elastic band off. Um, I'm not sure if I'm going to keep it straight or if I'm going to curl it. I have not decided. But now we're just going to get into doing the edges. Once I got my edges all curled, I just went in with some got to be free spray. In hindsight, maybe i should have used hairspray instead of the free spray only reason i'll say that is just because the free spray works like dries so quickly so you can't make no mistakes <laughs> you gotta go in knowing exactly what you're doing because it literally dries in seconds and edges for me they always take the longest like i end up doing swoops in places that i just don't even like in the end so then i end up getting rid of the swoops but just take your time with your edges if you're doing an edge look you don't want it to be like you want to make sure they're framing your face like correctly Okay, the edges on this side messed up and they're way too heavy but I left my tweezers downstairs and I cannot be bothered to go and get them. So we're just going to pretend that the edges on this side are not thick AF. But really they are and I know they are so you ain't got to tell me. I'm going to tell me that they're thick because I know they're thick. But these are the edges. Guys, thank you guys for watching this video if you guys have any questions towards the in-store or any questions you have about the unit feel free to leave a comment because i'm always checking the comment section once again thank you guys for watching and i will see you guys in my next video